Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. This is the ending now, so we're gonna finally do it. We're gonna finally go uh, do all the stuff. Well, I don't know how much of it I'm really gonna do. It's just, uh, you know, it's an unusual ending because you can basically go talk to anyone in the world now. Breathe is so good. Yeah, I think you mean the air is so good. I do what I say. Cross heart. <laughs> okay. So take your teleport and just go anywhere in the world you want to now. Go to the deep darkness, go to Tenda Village. I don't know if we're gonna make that. We're probably gonna hit the rock. Oh, maybe not. Oh yeah, we made it. You could basically go and talk to everyone in the world, but that would take like probably ten videos to do that. So, um, so I'm not gonna talk to everybody. If you wanna see, you can do it yourself sometime, but you know. You can go here and get the Overcoming Shyness book back. Yay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Everything's good here. You can actually go to the Lost Underworld and, like, talk to the Tendas down there, and I think, like, the rock will turn back into a normal rock or something like that. You can also go to, um, outside of Tucson over to Happy Happy Village and talk to Mr. Carpainter. He says some cool things. I mean, I don't know how much of this I'm actually going to do. I'm just kind of doing some random stuff. Whatever, any way the wind blows pretty much will take us. I have no idea. So, anyway, let's go take that book back to the library. What do you say? Seems like kind of a small thing to do, but, well, there you go. Here you go, lady. Uh, here's your book. Finally, you've come to return the book. Seems like you've finished it. You're such a good boy. As a reward, I'll give you a kiss. <laughs> okay, that's two kisses we've gotten in the game now. Wow. <laughs> Hey, you have lipstick on your cheek. <laughs> oh my god, the detail. Oh my god. Okay, there is one thing I didn't show you. Right here in the first town. You can actually go over on the west side, and there's a house over here that you can buy. And of course, at the beginning of the game, you're not going to have the money that it takes to buy it. It's like $7,500. But, but nowadays, I mean, we got 71000 right now. It's like a tenth of our, tenth of our worth, so... Tenth of our war. Doesn't this house look good? You can buy it for only seventy-five hundred dollars. It has an ocean view and the sunsets are beautiful. Folks should have a place of their own. Do you want to buy it? Sure. What else am I gonna do? Well, I could put it in the bank and earn interest on it, but eh. hey, let me inside. Let's have a look at this. Oh my God! What a ripoff! Holy cow! Look at this place. Well, maybe it's just a fixer-upper or something. I don't know. You also have another photo man location here. You can go and pick all these up too if you missed them, so that, that way you get to see the photographs at the end when, when they go behind the credits and all. Well, that is kind of a nice view, but holy cow. That you think they turned the couch so that you could see it while you're sitting on the couch. There's not even a TV in here. Of course, you, you don't get a TV with most houses, I guess. You found an old magazine. Are you going to read it? Uh, how long is this going to take? A secret Life Chapter 3. I was either a murder suspect or a target for an international spy organization, but I drove the car down the Jersey Turnpike 80 miles an hour. Police officer pulled me over national guard, like 10,000 miles over the speed limit. I instantly pointed my wife and said, I'm in a hurry, my wife is in labor. Fortunately, my wife, actually, uh, my wife actually had a big stomach. I hope you'd let me go with that excuse. Oh, since it's emergency, I'll lead you to the hospital with my police car, he said. No, it's not necessary. Why not, asked the officer. Uh, well, let's get going, said the officer. No, no, we can't. This baby is a demon child. Uh, okay. Didn't I just read that somewhere, like, not that long ago? Where did I just see that? Maybe it was on an Earthbound message board, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, probably. <clears throat> that actually reminds me of a joke. Um, there's a guy who gets pulled over by a cop, and he's in the car with his wife, and the cop um, asked him to roll down his window, and he said, do you know how fast you were going? And the guy says, no, officer, how fast was I going? And the officer said, you were going 65. The guy says, no way, I was only going 55. But then his wife jumps in and says, no, you weren't, you were going 80. And then the guy gives his wife a dirty look. Anyway, and then the cop says, you know what else, you actually have a broken tail light. And the guy says, what, I have a broken tail light? I didn't know about that. And his wife jumps in, and she says, You've known about that for weeks, honey. What are you talking about? She, he gives her another dirty look. And then the officer says, like, something else. What was the third thing? Oh, the officer says, You're not wearing your seatbelt. And the guy says, Oh, I'm sorry. I just took it off whenever you pulled me over. And the wife is like, No, you didn't. You're just, you never wear your seatbelt. And so, finally, the guy just breaks, and he turns to his wife and says, Will you shut your mouth? And the officer turns to the... He, he looks at the wife and says, Uh... He says, does he always talk to you like that? And she says, no, only when he's drunk. No, okay. 
Okay, anyway, I know it's stupid. You wanna ride a bike? That's not gonna work. Two people on one bike is strictly forbidden. Oh, well, d fine, be that way. I wanted to ride my bike. Um, I guess I have to get a car then, huh? Uh, there's a car. Whoa, well, don't get run over. Yeah, after you drop Sky off at her house, you can actually, um... I don't know why I did that. Anyway, um, well, I don't know why I came down here, I mean, because there's something else you can do first with her. But, uh, yeah, after you drop her off and you're by yourself, you can go back to the bike shop and get on a bike. And you can actually take it to the deep darkness where that swamp is. And you can actually ride around in the swamp without sinking. It's pretty cool. There's just all kinds of stuff you can do. You can call the Stoic Club. I might actually do that. I don't know. But, um... I'm just taking her back to my place, so you can see what she says. She's like, I really should go home. I shouldn't just be out wandering here and there. Don't you think so? Well, I'm gonna say no. Well, okay. I guess I would like to be with you a little longer. <laughs> That's so cute. I love it that she says that. Ugh. Anyway. No problem here. Wow, you become such a strong young man. I'd like to hear all of your stories, but I don't want to annoy you as soon as you walk through the door. I want to have a chance to get to know you to get to know your little girlfriend. It's good to meet you, Sky. After all your chats with people you met on your adventure are finally over, please come back here. The photo man brought an album by. I'd like to look at it with you. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. So she'll give you a, ch a chance to go talk to everybody, and then you come back and talk to her when you're done. Goody, my brother is back. You got a lot of catching up to do with your schoolwork. <laughs> if you have any problems with your assignments, I'll help you. Don't get freaked out. Yes, I'm gonna rest my old company help you. I saved some money, so we'll do the lunch thing sometime. You also got a new girlfriend? Your adventure must have been pretty good. Do you need help with anything other than your schoolwork? No. Okay, you relax now. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Yeah, you probably got a crap load of schoolwork to catch up on. That's gotta suck. It's probably Monday, too, you know, as they're coming back. Uh, anyway. I'm not gonna make her stay here. I'm gonna take her home because I'm... I don't know, it just doesn't feel right to make her stay here. She asked me to take her home, I'm gonna do that. No, don't do that! Oh, oh my god, I'm so stupid. Don't get in a hurry now. Push the right button there. Well, thank goodness we're not even up to eight minutes yet, so I won't have time to actually do this. Here, um, teleport B, Tucson. Thank you. You know, I could have done more stuff with this, but I just want to, I, I just want this to be over, because, you know, like I said before, you could go on for up to two hours, probably, just talking to everyone in the world to see what they say now, but, just as I thought, you two make such a nice couple. Ugh, oh, well, who said we were a couple, you silly? I mean, I guess, you know. I'm not like, I, I never before was really a huge shipper, you know, as far as like Ness and Paula, but, but actually yesterday on my last video, somebody pointed out a picture to me of, um, something of Paula praying at the end, and it was like a really, where, where the hell am I going? It was a really sad picture when I looked at it, I just like, oh, well, I, I, it, ended, it ended up that I spent like the next hour looking around at Earthbound fan art, and that's when I got inspired to... <clears throat> to do what I'm actually going to do, which is actually to maybe make a video, a fan art video of this part of the game right here when you drop her off. He's smiling. Chen, thank you for escorting me home. There was something I wanted to tell you, but I've forgotten. I'm sure I'll remember by the time I see you again. Well, I guess this is it. Goodbye. Uh, so long. See ya. Bye. Huh. <laughs> and she looks back. It's so bittersweet, you know? I don't know. Because you know they're gonna see each other again, probably the next day, you know? Still. You're a very strong young man. My opinion of you has changed. Perhaps you should continue dating Sky. Just treat her right. Come by and visit any time. You can even sleep on the living room couch instead of the one in the den. <laughs> okay. And you can actually go up here and talk to her. But I don't think she says anything different, whatever. Tim, I guess it's time for you to go home. Everyone is probably worried about you. Yeah, probably. It's too bad they couldn't make, like, a direct sequel to this. Just, I don't know. Because I want to see what happens with them. I want to see what they do together. I mean, I don't know if it really matters. Maybe I'm just missing my childhood or something, you know? Maybe that's all it is. Mm -hmm. 
I had it pretty good when I was 12. I had a good group of friends. I hated moving away from there. And it wasn't even that I had to move, it was just that, well, you know, I guess I could warp. It was just that we had to change schools because it ended up that my sister and I couldn't ride the same bus. So we had to get dropped off, like, separately, and I would get home, like, a half hour later than she did. So, and I was, like, the only babysitter, really, so I had to kind of be there to take care of her, so. So we had to end up changing schools, and, yeah, that was, like, one of the worst things that ever happened. Because, because I haven't had a group of friends that tight since then, pretty much. <laughs> Except for a short time that I did, and before we moved to Wisconsin, before we had to move again, oh, boy. Oh my god, I'm up to 11 minutes. Well, I guess we'll have to continue this video next time. So, when you talk to Mom, the credits roll, and you'll see the rest of the ending. So, I'll see you then.